we open on the Inca Empire, where a young Emperor Cusco sits at his throne. He is a bombastic and groovy little emperor, however his sarcasm and pride often leaves him to make enemies. As of late, people have grown more and more unsettled by his hectic ruler lifestyle. Behind the scenes, in the darkest depths, Cusco's royal advisor Yzma plots his demise. With her assistant Kronk, they devise a plan to poison the emperor. They invite Emperor Cusco to a royal dinner, to which he obliges. As they wait, await his arrival, Yzma asks Kronk if he's ready for tonight. Kronk explains how he plans to start the evening with a light soup and salad, as Yzma cuts him off and inquires about the poison. Kronk responds that he recalls the poison. The poison for Cusco. The poison chosen especially to kill Cusco. Cusco's poison. That poison. Yzma, hearing Cusco enter the temple, runs off to the table to greet him. Kronk sets aside three chalices. He stands in such a way to conceal the glasses from the other side of the room with his body as he pours the poison into one. Kronk brings forth the chalices to the table. Where Cusco and Yzma are already sitting. However, Kufso inquires what that burning smell is, to which Kronk gasps, my spinach fluffs. Kronk quickly exits the room without serving the emperor his drink. Yzma, unsure of what to do in Kronk's absence, stands awkwardly for a moment until Kuzco breaks the ice. Kuzco states that Kronk seems nice and asks if he's in his late 20s. To which she replies, she is unsure. Kronk returns from the kitchen, proud of himself, yielding his tray of golden spinach puffs. He begins placing one on the emperor's plate until Yzma nudges him and reminds him that the emperor needs his drink first, Kronk. Unsure of which chalice had the poison, he mixes all of them together. then hands a drink to each of them. He signals over dramatically to Yzma that all the cups are poisoned and not to actually drink the contents. They both chuck the poison water over their shoulder and then Cusco downs the liquid, slams the glass on the table and exclaims, ah, tasty, before immediately falling face first onto his plate.